Well, young people walking through the streets holding up signs, chanting at the top of their lungs, rallying in large numbers against an injustice that has cost people their lives. 1968 or 2020. Decades apart, but much like history repeating itself. And tonight, a unique perspective on the protests against police brutality from someone who has experienced it and now observes it again today. Vic talked to a man who lived history. As a teenager, Freeman Rabowski was among hundreds of other black boys who were arrested for participating in a march for civil rights in his hometown of Birmingham, Alabama. Police Commissioner Bull Connor spat in his face, rounded up the boys, and they were all taken away for five days and, as he said, treated like animals. So imagine what this now internationally known president of UMBC thinks of the protests he sees today. When I see the protests, I think about America at its best because the, the point is that American citizens are empowered to speak, to speak their truth. That's the other thing I think about that's different from 50 years ago is we see people of all races out saying Black Lives Matter. We're getting through to people in general that there are, there are so many examples of discrimination that we all need to look at this and say we as a country can be better than we are. What do you say to people who have had to come to terms with the uncomfortable conversation of race? A race is one of the most difficult topics for people to discuss, especially in interracial groups. And yet we've never had the conversations we need to have. We've had glimpses of it at different points, but we've never had the honest conversations about ways in which people have been mistreated about ways in which our forebears were treated like animals, were not considered full citizens or human beings, and the impact over the years of, of this structural racism, because it's about more than police brutality. This is still a great country. Let me say that. As a black child growing up in Birmingham, I know that. Doesn't mean we're perfect. We have problems. We have structural racism. But what I mean by that is every time we've gotten to these points, We've had enough people to say, okay, we can be better than this. Dr. Rabowski is quick to turn a conversation away from the painful experiences of his past to refocus on the present and the future. A future, he says, must address more than police brutality, but also disparities in education, health, jobs, income, and the criminal justice system. I'm Vic Carter. Now back to you.